friends, Amanda back here today. I'm going to be sharing with you how I made this Let's Get Coffee card with Purple Onions Stamps Presley. This little penguin is super adorable and I just love penguins. This set came out this last Christmas and I like stretching my stamps and my supplies as much as I possibly can. So why not make a Let's Get Coffee card with Presley, the adorable little penguin. Okay, so I'm using my darkest color, which is 100. I normally would use a C9 here, but we have a blizzard here in the Midwest, North Dakota, and I am not about to go out there for a C9 no matter how bad I want it. So I'm using 100, C, uh, C7, and then C5 for my dark, mid, and my light. And this penguin is so adorable. Can we just take a minute to accept the fact that his little face is just, it's the cutest thing. Those bulging eyes. <laughs> All right, so back to the card. We are just finishing that up, and then I'm going to go with W3, W1, and W0 for my warm grays. And just using that W3 to give him a little bit of a cheek so he doesn't look so flat. Um, giving them little sculpted lines like this kind of brings the character further into a realistic type look and just giving him a little chubby belly like he's hunched back and hunched his little belly is pulled forward and it's really it's really that simple then we're going to go in with our mid-tone which is the w1 and just going over the dark lines and pulling out that color just a little bit further so that you get a, an even blend and then we'll go over everything with the W0. He's so cute. Okay so the whole point of me making this video was to showcase that just because a stamp set or a any craft thing came out in Christmas doesn't necessarily mean you only have to or only can use it for that season. Um, I like being able to stretch my stamps and my supplies as much as I possibly can, so that was the reason why I'm making this video today. I'm using R20 and R00 for the cheeks. Super cute. And for his feet and beak, I'm using YR68 YR16 and Y38. I will do anything I can to use Y38. It's honey and I just love that color. So that's what I'm using. Giving his feet a little bit of dimension, not going straight to the black line, kind of makes your eye think that it's more of a 3D image than what it really is. At least that's what I'm saying. Okay, for the scarf, BG49, BG13, and BG15. And again, just trying to make it look a little more 3D by not going straight to the black line, making it look more rounded appearance. That is what I'm doing here. Okay, you're gonna see here that I'm gonna mess up. And I'm leaving this in because I don't want everybody to think that um, everybody colors everything perfectly. We are not perfect. We're all imperfect. We all have our own little hangups. And I'm going to be using a blend, a colorless blender to push that color back in. Even though I didn't really need to because I'm going to be fussy cutting this whole entire little penguin out right up to the line so that there's no white showing. I didn't have to, but mistakes do happen and that is an easy trick to fix it so not a huge deal but that's how i fix it and just pushing it back in not a huge deal now i'm going to use c1 just to go around the inner but the outer part of the eye and not going straight to the black, again, making it feel more rounded appearance. And here's the white gel pen. And I'm gonna give them little hearts and dots since we're almost at Valentine's Day. And you don't always wanna give Valentine's Day cards to your friends, but 
sometimes it's nice to go out for coffee. So we are giving this little adorable Presley penguin some little hearts on his scarf. Um, it could be a herd too. Doesn't really matter. And not going all the way and putting a heart on each section makes it appear more realistic. So like putting little ends where it's not a full heart makes it seem more real. And adding some highlights and now we're gonna fussy cut them out. All right, using a coffee dye set from Tim Holtz and some patterned paper, an adorable little coffee mug. Using some letter dies that I have in my stash, I'm going to cut out the word coffee in some glittery paper. And a funky circle die and some patterned paper. Going to glue all of this together. And I wanted the center of this to stand out just a little bit more. So on vellum, I also did the same circle and then I just used the center that die cut out and put it in the middle so that everything doesn't blend together too much. The coffee mug and the penguin and all that stand out just a little bit more. Putting a dot in the middle because my coffee mug is gonna sit there. You will not see any glue. All right, and then arranging the letters as to where exactly they're going to go so I kind of have a good idea on placement. Sorry, I wasn't exactly in camera view. Sometimes I get carried away with what I'm doing and I don't even realize that my project is getting away from me. So back in camera view, just arranging those letters getting everything ready as to where exactly I want it to be placed, and then we're gonna glue everything down. All right, the coffee is on. Now for the top part. Okay, I went ahead and got the word get glued on and we're gonna glue on Presley the penguin here and add it to our coffee. Super cute. I think anybody would love a, a let's get coffee card. I feel like the one side is just a little sparse so I'm going to take a lemon dye from La La Land Crafts. I can link all the products down below and I'm gonna color it to look like a coffee beans so that it kind of evens everything out on the other side so it doesn't seem so lopsided and heavy on the right side. For the coffee beans, I'm using E37, E29, and E59. And I'm just using a waffle flower rubber mat. This is great for little pieces. Uh, they don't slide around and your fingers don't get all full of ink. It just kind of sits there and you can just color them in. All right, we are just about complete. We're gonna add some white gel pen to the top of the mug to make it look a little more dimensional. And then this card is completed. He's so cute. I do hope you guys enjoyed today's card making video. If you did, please like and subscribe for more crafting videos and come again. Thanks for stopping. Bye.